A National Day of Prayer is an annual observance held on the first Thursday of May, inviting people of all faiths to pray for the nation. It was created in 1952 by a joint resolution of the United States Congress and signed into law by President Harry S. Truman. In 1988, the law was amended and signed by President Reagan, permanently setting the day as the first Thursday of every May. Each year, the President signs a proclamation encouraging all Americans to pray on this day. Because of the faith of many of our founding fathers, public prayer and national days of prayer have a long-standing and significant history in American tradition. Since the first call to prayer in 1775, when the Continental Congress asked the colonies to pray for wisdom and forming a nation, the call to prayer has continued through our history, including President Lincoln's proclamation of a day of humiliation, fasting, and prayer in 1863. The National Day of Prayer has great significance for us as a nation, as it enables us to recall and teach the way in which our founding fathers sought the wisdom of God when faced with critical decisions. It stands as a call for us to humbly come before God, seeking his guidance for our leaders and his grace upon us as a people. The National Day of Prayer belongs to all Americans. It is a day that transcends differences, bringing together citizens from all backgrounds. Almighty God, you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to reconcile the world to yourself. We praise and bless you for all those whom you have sent in the power of the Spirit to pray, to pray for all nations and communities. Strengthen us, we pray, by the power of that same Spirit, that we may pray according to your direction and under your command. We pray that your Holy Spirit may so move every human heart that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatreds cease, that our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace. Give us grace seriously to lay to heart the great danger we are in by our unhappy divisions. Take away all hatred and prejudice, and whatever else may hinder us from godly union and concord. Look with compassion on the whole human family, Unite us in bonds of love and work through even our struggles and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth, that in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Guide us in our time of prayer, that we may be all of one heart and one soul, united in one holy bond of truth and peace, of faith and charity that our prayers may glorify you and by your grace be an instrument you use for the carrying out of your purposes. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, we exist to give you glory. We exist because of your glory and in your glory as our creator, redeemer, and sustainer. We give you thanks and praise for every breath and moment you have given us. We repent of our sin, for the shameful things we have done against you, and for our silence when we did not speak up to proclaim your name, profess your word, or protect and practice your will. We ask your forgiveness. We pray that the knowledge of the glory of the Lord will spread across our nation and the entire earth as we seek your kingdom and righteousness, as we walk in obedience to you and in humble unity, love one another. Jesus, the Bible says that you are the knowledge of the glory of the Lord. You have taught us to pray, commanded us to love, and commissioned us to share your gospel of grace. Your glory fills our hearts and families. It overflows into our neighborhoods, workplaces, 
campuses, churches, and in our entertainment and media. We give thanks for our military and ask that your glory would spread to and through them as they preserve freedom around the world. We pray for our government, that all our leaders and laws would be filled with your glory, that they would magnify your holy word and honor your will and ways. And we pray that your grace and glory would spread to bring hope to the hopeless and love where there is hurt and hate. O oh God, use us as we pray your promise that the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Amen. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. When we call, answer us. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. Come and listen, we plead. A reading from the first book of Kings, chapter 8, verses 10 and 11. It happened that when the priests came from the holy place, the cloud filled the house of the Lord so that the priests could not stand to minister because of the cloud, for the glory of the Lord filled the house of the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Jesus, we pray that your church would be saturated with your glory. We plead that your presence would fill the churches so that people will be drawn into and saturated in the experience of your presence in your church that your word would be clearly and courageously taught and obeyed. We pray that our lives will be a faithful testimony of your goodness and would be known by our love as we live to give you glory. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. When we call, answer us. O oh Lord, hear our prayer, O oh Lord, hear our prayer. Come and listen, we plead. A reading from Psalm 102, verse 15. So the nations will fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth, your glory. Let us pray. Lord God, we pray your glory would break out like the dawn in and through our government. We seek to live under your authority as well as your blessings. And so we pray that America would bless you with our leaders, laws, and lives. Please reveal your presence and power to every person who serves in our local, state, and federal governments. Show them your glory and goodness Guide them in your ways so that our nation would give you glory, that light will shine into every government office and meeting, and all plans, deeds, decisions, strategies, and schemes will either be exalted or exposed according to the word and will of God. Amen. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. When we call, answer us. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. Come and listen, we plead. A reading from Ephesians 3, verses 14 through 19. For this reason, I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with power through his Spirit in the inner man, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, and that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth 
and to know the love of Christ which surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled up to all the fullness of God. Heavenly Father, we pray that you will extend and expand your glory through our families as we dwell in you. We pray that you strengthen marriages so that all husbands and wives would remain faithful to you and to one another. We pray that parents would love and nurture their children spiritually in your word and ways, as well as lovingly providing for their physical, emotional, and mental needs, and that God would heal the wounds of abandonment and abuse, that all people would know that they are loved. May every person live in the abundant life and divine destiny authored and perfected by Jesus. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. When we call, answer us. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. Come and listen, we plead. A reading from Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 1, verse 17. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you a spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of him. Lord, who gives wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, we pray the campuses would be filled with your glory. We know that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. We pray that every student and educator would live in reverence and relationship with you. That the decision makers, administrations, and educators would be supported and make sound decisions that glorify God and serve our students in every area of education. Lord, hear our prayer. Oh, Lord, hear our prayer. When we call, answer us. Oh, Lord, hear our prayer. Oh, Lord, hear our prayer. Come and listen, we plead. Colossians 1, 9 through 11. For this reason also, since the day we heard of it, we have not ceased to pray for you and to ask you that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will and all spiritual wisdom and understanding, so that you will walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, to please him in all respects, bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with all power according to his glorious might, for the attaining of all steadfastness and patience joyfully. Lord, we pray that you will fill every workplace in our nation with your glory. We pray that all we do, every word, plan, strategy, goal, transaction, and relationship would bring you glory. We give you glory for our knowledge, talents, and opportunities. We pray that every workplace from the schools, military, home, office, store, and more will be filled with those who are praying and living out their faith in Jesus with love, excellence, and respect. Oh Lord, hear our prayer. Oh Lord, hear our prayer. When we call, answer us. O oh Lord, hear our prayer, O oh Lord, hear our prayer, come and listen, we plead. A reading from St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 6, verses 10 through 12. Finally, be strong in the Lord in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Let us pray. Jesus, King of Kings, we pray that you will fill our military with your glory. We pray that you would lead our military, 
that they would defend freedom and liberty. We ask your protection as they battle evil and shield the weak. Strengthen your warriors in the salvation only found in you. Guide and guard their families as well as their chain of command as they serve at home and on the front lines, and that they would be filled with courage, not fear, knowing that God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are near. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. When we call, answer us. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. Come and listen, we plead. John 7, verse 18. He who speaks from himself seeks his own glory, but he who is seeking the glory of the one who sent him, he is true, and there is no unrighteousness in him. Lord, our Creator, we pray that sound, scripts, and screens would be filled with your glory. We pray, praise you, and give you thanks. You gave us the beauty of this world in sunsets and the seas, flowers and mountains, and in every person made in your image. You give us gifts and talents that we steward for your glory. Keep our hearts and minds filled with light as we choose the voices we listen to and the images we watch. That art and entertainment, and media would draw people closer to God as the first and consummate artist and creator and would give God glory for all with their talent. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. When we call, answer us. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. Come and listen, we plead. A reading from the 12th chapter of Exodus, verses 26 through 27. And when your children ask you, what does this ceremony mean to you? Then tell them, it is the Passover sacrifice to the Lord who passes over the houses of the Israelites in Egypt and spared our homes when he struck down the Egyptians. Then the people bowed down and worshiped. God of all mercy and compassion, life and death are in your hands. Hear our prayers in this time of illness and infection, of isolation, fear and uncertainty for the sick and those weighed down by pain, distress, loneliness, and anxiety, for all who care for them, conscious of the risks they bear, and for those who have responsibility for public health and social order. Hear the cry of the afflicted and let them be comforted so that all who suffer may come to know that they are joined to the sufferings of Christ, who gave his life for the salvation of the world and by your blessing on them and those who care for them. May they be restored according to your will to soundness of body and mind and offer you joyful thanks in your church. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. When we call, answer us. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. Come and listen, we plead. Almighty and everlasting God, creator of all that is, together we come to you as brothers and sisters in Christ. 
of the Brotherhood of St. Andrew and the Daughters of the King, to pray for our country, for our national, state, and local leaders, for our legislatures, and for our judiciaries. We pray also for all members of our armed forces and all those who put service before safety to keep us safe and free. In this time of the coronavirus pandemic, let us pray especially for each other as we find ways to stay connected, even as we must stay apart. Grant that the trials of the present time will draw us closer in pursuit of the common good. And we pray, give us a resolve always to seek your will, that our love for you will be manifest in our love for our neighbor. We pray in gratitude for all you have given us and in our hope for the world to come. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.